For USCfootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with Dan Weber for instant analysis of USC's fourth practice of spring camp. Now, normally we are now talking to Clay Helton on Saturdays only, but because of the news that broke during spring break, Clay Helton actually addressed us uh, today on Tuesday. He said that he found out when everyone else did about the USC admission scandal, and he said that he was just as shocked as the rest of the USC community. Um, but that was Clay Helton making a, a point that uh, on the record that he didn't know anything about the scandal. Yeah, and I think it was necessary, and it was uh, it was a good idea <clears throat> to let uh, Clay talk about it. And you know, with the the thought that look, this thing's going to be under investigation, the Department of Justice investigation, uh, and it will be ongoing, and we're, we're not going to talk about it anymore. But to be able to you know clear the decks and say, look, I'm you know I I really was blindsided because in a lot of the other schools, uh, coaches were involved. Uh, that you didn't have to have a coach involved here, uh, according to the you know the government's case, because you had a senior athletic administrator involved. Uh, but I thought it was was very uh, you know wise for him to say um, I just I had no idea. Uh, we saw it when we saw it, and when you guys saw it, we saw it. Um, and I, I thought that was I know it was just one of those we've kind of I think at times criticized USC's. Uh, uh, public relations instincts. I thought that was a, a smart move today yeah. and a good uh, public relations uh, uh, decision. Yeah, yeah. Better to, to address that now on Tuesday than wait all the way to Saturday to talk about it. Uh, but uh, to the actual football, uh, it was USC's first practice back from spring break. Clay Helton said that the offense looked a little rusty, but that's because they let the defense fully at them. They were able to go full pressure on the offense. What did you think about today's practice, Dan? I really like what we're seeing from the defense, obviously, but uh, I mean, guys like uh, Jay Tavelli, um, Juliana Falonico, I thought he had, you know, some big plays there. Uh, Clay said he liked all the inside linebackers, that, you know, what they're doing and moving them. Uh, Drake Jackson, uh, just a lot of, you know, a lot of things that you saw for the first time. I think the offensive line taking some adjustment. Uh, they hadn't seen that kind of pressure, uh, but. Uh, I think this offense is such that, you know, by the time they got to the two-minute drill uh, to finish up, you saw JT Daniels hit five straight passes, you know, boom, 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 you know, right down the field. Uh, and, you know, there are some mismatches in the secondary with uh, Talano Hafanga still with his yellow jersey on. He's out there, uh, but not having the depth and the, and the healthy guys and all that that you should expect uh, receivers like, Devin Williams and Tyler Vaughns and, and uh, Michael Pittman all, made, you know, Amon Ra all made, you know, big plays. And, uh, and Jude Wolf on a, a nice crossing route and touchdown on, a, you know, where he took it up the sideline. So uh, uh, what you're expecting, I think you're starting uh, to see on offense. Today wasn't a big step backwards. I thought it was interesting. I, I didn't know this. Uh, the way they do it, uh, Graham Harrell said, is, they do installation in thirds. So they did a third, you know, first Tuesday, you know, the second third, the first Thursday, the third, third, the first Saturday. And he said, then we go back and we do it again. And uh, today they did the same install that they did the first practice. And tomorrow, or, third, or excuse me, Thursday, they'll do the, the second. And he said, we just keep doing it over and over and over again because we want them to get millions of reps and we just keep repping it. Uh, that was interesting. He said he didn't think they believed him yeah. when they when they did it. And uh, uh, I I just really like it when you talk to Devin Williams, you talk to J T. Daniels. They love doing the reps and the simplicity of it. And uh, you, you gotta like that. Yeah, and Graham Harrell said that the install, offensive install, is essentially over. They're just going over the same things that they've installed that first week of camp. And JT Daniels, like he, you said, said it was it's easier on everyone involved in the offense to, to do what they're asked of um, this time around. And it's you can kind of see that on days like today where the defensive pressure is let loose. I feel like last spring we kind of would have seen a breakdown a little bit on offense. We wouldn't have seen guys connecting as much as they did on offense still with the pressure that they saw today. And I thought JT had a really interesting comment about um, comparing last year's offense to this year's. He said last year we, we, we had, and I think he meant we tried to have an answer for everything and trying to every defense and every possibility and all of that. He said this year we just go out and play. You know, it's so much simpler. Uh, and you can just tell how much, uh, you know, getting you know, good athletes 
uh, and just letting them play. What a difference, what a concept. And then just working on it over and over and over again. Uh, I mean, I, I could not be more uh, pleased with that approach to the game. I mean, that's always been, you know, my approach uh, in terms of this is how, uh, you know, if you're a high school coach, that's how you figure out how do we get this so these kids uh, can really understand it, don't have to think about it. And if you can do that in college at this level with really good athletes, uh, I think you've done a lot of things right. So I think they're really on, you know, on the right track here. Mm -hmm. As far as the more newsier items come out of Clay Helton's uh, press conference after practice, he talked about uh, Eric, Ziskin, Z Eric Ziskin. He confirmed that he is leaving the staff. He's moving on to something outside of football. Uh, he also confirmed other uh, staff changes. What were your main takeaways from that? Just a lot more people. I mean, I, and I know Clay eventually said maybe just a couple more, but a couple more. I mean, you know, added you know four quality control coaches. Uh, I think USC will have the most uh, quality control coaches in the Pac-12. Again, Clay said, you know, it's not like East Coast uh, numbers, but uh, pretty good numbers. Um, and they added three more strength people, and uh, so. Uh, kind of a positive, you know, sort of a, and Clay said he, you know, appreciates the university uh, willing to make the investment and in, uh, in a couple of extra, uh, say, quality control guys that they didn't have last year. So, and bringing uh, uh, both, I guess, two of, the, two of them, uh, one from, you know, Mike Jenks at Bowling Green and the other um, who had been with Graham Harrell, uh, very familiar with this offense. So, uh, you got to like that. Uh, there, there are some things going on that, that you, you got to like. Mm -hmm. I know some of the coaches said that the offense was a little rusty coming out of spring break. What are your expectations going forward in this week? What do you expect from the team to accomplish uh, going forward? What I like to see the offensive line get more uh, cohesive and, and just more, you know, quick footed, you know, quick footed and all of that kind of thing. I like it that they're letting the defense really challenge them and say, you know, we'll see, you know, can you guys, you know, pick up the, pick up the pace here and I, I want to I want to see that challenge every every practice I like the fact that you know uh, Tim Drevno is charting every single snap of the the two centers and uh, and for example when you ask him they said where does he want it here 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 this is a bad snap if the ball's right here just off the side they, can see they can't see that <laughs> but it, we're give it, if, if the quarterback has to move his hands at all you know, off the, off the, you know, midsection, it's not a good snap. Yeah. And he said, they said Drevno has been, uh, and goes over it with them and goes over the video and, uh, and, you know, the, the snaps look good. I mean, but he's, uh, he being, uh, you know, I think real critical in terms of, um, uh, just having them off a little bit. Uh, I, uh, I like it that they've got the officials. I mean, one of the things I think is the, the most beneficial that we're seeing, not only are we not seeing many j jumps, uh, and procedures. We're seeing, a, you know, one or two. Uh, but I think the real learning is when, you, when you're seeing them go one-on-one -on -one and, uh, and you see a flag thrown and you get to see the defender talking to uh, the official who threw the flag and they're discussing, you know, oh, I thought I was allowed to do that or what, what and, the, and the official said, no, this is why I, I made that call. I think that's invaluable yeah. learning lesson that they weren't getting last year. Last year they were, you know, ah, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did, blah, blah, blah. And they're back and forth and that didn't do any, any good as we saw in games. I think here, you know, when that official said, that's how I call it. You know, I'm in the league. I'm going to be one of the guys calling the games. Yeah. And you do that, I'm going to call it. And the kids were going, oh, okay, I guess I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. We got a mini injury update uh, from Clay Helton today. He said that Trevor Trout over spring break tore a bicep and he already received surgery on that bicep. So Trevor Trout will be out for the rest of the spring. Uh, Caleb Trimblay, who hasn't been a full participant so far in spring, tried to go today. Uh, he didn't. He was on the trainer's table and then disappeared. I'm not sure if he was carted off, but uh, no, he walked off. He's yeah. got a he had a big wrap on his uh, okay. right calf, but he he kind of limped off. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So it hasn't been good for Caleb Trimbley so far, but we didn't get updates. Uh, Keaton Slovis was not dressed out, and a couple other guys were not dressed out today. Yeah, it was kind of the, the crew. I think uh, we saw Max Williams getting uh, his uh, uh, knee brace adjusted, but really working hard, like we saw in the video that his dad posted last week. Uh, uh, we saw uh, Elijah Griffin do a lot of running, still not, uh, not ready to come back with his, uh, his collarbone uh, 
trying to think who else uh, we saw out there. Uh, I, think mm, I think there was somebody came back. Who came back that uh, we missed? Uh, somebody came back uh, that they were pleased that came back, and I, for the life of me, can't uh, recall that right now. Yep. All righty. Well, any final thoughts before we wrap it up? Well, I thought it, it's interesting. We're not hearing coach speak very much, but we're hearing things like Clay went to Houston on spring break uh, and visited her, her mother-in-law for a few days and, and did a lot of, as he said, if you're in that situation, you're going to watch a lot of um, film. And he actually used the word um, in watching how they were picking things up. He said he was giddy. Uh, and, you know, I'd much rather hear that than physical beats or situational mastery or whatever. I mean, I just think that kind of represented, he was like, wow, look at him pick this stuff up. This is great. Uh, but uh, so, I mean, I, I think everybody was on the same page today in terms of picking it up quickly and, and repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and, um, and, you know, making it simple and letting kids play fast. And, you know, that's enough of a change on this offense. And uh, I thought uh, the idea that they don't have to try to answer everything in advance of a play where everybody's got to be thinking, thinking, thinking instead of playing, playing, playing. Yeah. I like it that they're playing first. And uh, even in the face of, of the pressure and the rush and all the quick stuff that the defense did, you know, the offense uh, hung in there, as you said, last year, you know, we'd have said, oh, my gosh, where is this going? Yeah. Uh, so they, they come out of there with some success today, which is what you've got to do. Mm -hmm. Just a scheduling note, uh, tomorrow is, or Wednesday is USC's Pro Day. Uh, we will have instant analysis and highlights from that, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll also have Tunnel Vision here on YouTube uh, on that Wednesday talking about practice and Pro Day, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's going to wrap it up for Dan Weber. I'm Keely Yor. For more, check out uscfootball.com.